Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am back with another reaction to Arcane. This is episode two of season one. Episode one was pretty good. I like what I'm seeing so far. That fight scene though, that fight scene though, with the freaking, that slow-mo punch, and the spit in the blood coming out in slow motion and her getting cross-eyed for a second that's it was fire anyways i like what i'm seeing so far the blue balls okay the blue balls no name for them yet right so i'm waiting for that and um also we ended off with a freaking horrible horrible freaking death of that cat um you know, some people don't like those types of cats, but I think those are my favorite types of cats because I'm allergic to cats, except for those ones, because they don't have hair. I think that's how that works, right? I don't think I've ever actually seen one of those cats in person, but I think that I could actually snuggle with that type of cat and, you know, not feel like I'm dying. Anyways, I wonder what else is gonna be happening here. Um, so this guy's making this stuff that can turn animals into monsters and it looks like they're going to be trying this on a human subject and I think it's gonna be that blonde dude that started a fight with us. So uh, let's see what freaking happens with that. What is that dude gonna look like? We didn't even see what the mouse looked like. Like, what? I don't even freaking know. I don't even know what to expect. A lot of you guys who play League of Legends probably know what to expect, but I don't. I don't know anything. I know nothing. And so, uh, anyways, do I have a favorite character right now? I think right now my favorite character is Powder. There's just this innocence about her and I don't know, I, I like her. She's nice, she's like too pure for this world. She's got that type of vibe. But anyways, I am ready to get on to the next episode. Episode two of Arcane. Let's go. A little danger is worth the risk, don't you think? A little careful. danger That's is worth money. the risk. Oh, this, is this the perspective is of the, the guy who walked in? This is the blue ball incident. Hey, open up. Oh, it's the blue ball incident. Maybe this guy will tell us the freaking blue balls are all about. Does he even survive that? What the heck? Are you all right, dude? Oh, he got, he got a little glimpse. He got a little glimpse of Violet. He's gonna remember that pink hair. Whoa. Oh, dang, frostbite. Yikes. I don't think anybody can hear you. You're gonna have to drag him. Oh no, there is somebody there. Lucky for you. What the heck? Oh, maybe this guy gave them the blue balls. Yo, he's like a wizard. I like it. Where did this guy come from? He just comes out of nowhere and does this. What the frick is going on? Are you having like a DMT trip or? I don't know how we got here, but thank you. Thank you so much. We were gonna die out there. I don't know what it means, but cool. The intro song is pretty cool. Foot. 
Everybody wants to be my enemy. What happened here? You Science see, we had the blue balls and... Science didn't require any huh. legal equipment. Nor was it approved by the Academy. Exactly. We're here to ensure that anything dangerous is removed safely. Which, according to my list, includes you. <gasps> How am I dangerous? Yeah, that's for the council to decide. What in the world is this? What a curious principle. We can find the physical body. What a curious principle. I do love a good conundrum. What manner of inquiry was this? Professor Heimerdinger, I... Heimerdinger? I believe I've discovered something truly incredible. A way to harness magic through science. Magic? Yes. No. No? Harness no, magic through a science? A force of nature. But I am now 307 years old. Whoa, you're old. I pursued the mysteries of science. I don't live that long. Only to discover some are better left unsolved. Yes, I'm afraid. Even if I were to have to look like that to be that old. Council, admit your work was dangerous, but speak nothing of magic. 300 something then, years old and he's still kicking it like this? Um, are you kidding? That was the best job we've ever done. Maybe just don't take powder next time. Hmm. Dude, he really doesn't like powder being around. Well, she's good at this game. Give me a name. Ew! Oh, shoot. Even better. Except for some blue balls. Where are the blue balls? They don't even know about the blue balls. Uh, get off of powder! Dang, dude. If I may need something revolutionary, Aurora, something to put Piltover on the map. This will blow over. We just need to stand together. Evander Ainu. Together. The the Strong. Be afraid to fight. Well, birthday, Counselor. Oh, no, this is too kind. I'm told it was built only for the sharpest minds. Oh, oh, oh. And I bought you some dingle nuts. Ah, don't you know dingle nuts? What are you trying to do? Kill an old man? Dang, his arms are skinny. Okay, it's dark in here. Jace Talis. You are accused of illegal experimentation and endangering the citizens of Pilton. What do you have to say for yourself? What in the world is around her neck? I believe that one day you will be a great contributor to our society. He destroyed a building. Is this the sort of contribution? It wasn't his fault. A scientist, you know it was these meddling kids. Breaking a few wrenches. Do you have a so you're saying your study was meaningless? It was revolutionary. Revolutionary how? Oh, that's what she's looking for. She's looking for a revolutionary. Uh -oh. I was trying to create magic. What did you say? Magic. Magic? They can't be fabricated. Actually, I believe it is possible. So we got magic and we got monsters. Both of these things are about to come into the freaking picture, dude. The pioneers of science can use it for good. You don't understand what's at stake. But how can you? That's a burden that only I here carry. Time. He's really old. He would know. Piltover was founded to escape the warmongering of mages, not cultivated. He's hard to understand. My son, 
Vincent in whose right mind? His entire hmm? life he's chased an impossible dream. A violation of the ego's calls for banishment. And I banishment. can sympathize with a young man's dream to change the world. I move that Chase be summarily expelled from the academy and hmm. remanded to the care of his parents. All those in favor? So how is he going to work on his magic? Because obviously he's going to get back into working with on his magic, right? What is that? Oh, it's you. First time I've been invited to the lanes. I wonder if we're going to see a monster. I'm about to make your day. How? So you gotta tell them, tell him where that they are. I want to see one of these creatures. When are we gonna see one? I'm dying to know. My own family will help me. I'll find someone who will. Who's gonna help him? I think he might know that it's possible. He just doesn't want it. What the heck? On the surface, no one would imagine it exists. That's crazy. Oh. What? No. No, no, it'll kill me. Well, this is the clip that I saw. Real power doesn't come to those who were born strongest or fastest or smartest. No. It comes to those who will do anything to achieve it. Anything it's time to, to achieve it. it. It's time to let the monster out. He's gonna take it. What is he gonna look like? What is he gonna be able? Oh, he's doing it! There wasn't much hesitation there. They better not cut away. I wanna see what this looks like. Oh. And then there's probably gonna be a round two of his fight versus Violet. And things are gonna end a little bit differently. But we still didn't fully see what he's gonna look like, so. My name is no good now. My dad says you're a misfit. And that we can't be friends anymore. What? So why are you out here? Do whatever it takes. Turn the embassy upside down if you have to. Just find them. What even is that guy? Is he like a robot? While you're wasting your time, how about a proper drink? I'll take the strongest shit you got. Ooh. That's the signal. See you gone. Gonna jump in, maybe. Oh, jeez. Ew. What the heck is that? He's gonna put those things on again at some point. Oh, shoot. Uh oh, uh oh. Hang on. Hang on just a little bit longer. Just slipping. Just close the door. No one's in there. <sighs> she held on just long enough. 
you are all the same. This what did you say? For bravery. You think you're standing up for something? But well, we all know there is a crime behind every coin that passes through this place. That might be true. You're just a small man in a little hole the world pick up to bury. Well, bury he's like twice your size. No, we're not okay. They almost saw powder. What if they took her? No one is taking any of you. Mm. I wonder if that will happen. There's that thing. I wonder if she's ever going to get that back. Who are you willing to lose? Milo? Jaya? Powder. Powder. What's he doing? What are you doing, man? He was about to. What's your problem? I saw with my own eyes what magic can do. The lies it can save. You've no idea how beautiful it is. It was like a DMT trip. No one believed me. Not that I've taken DMT. But you know I'm here because I think you're onto something. Hmm. I want to help you complete your research. No Do we trust him though exactly? You're going to change the world. Don't ask for permission. Maybe they want us to feel like, oh, this guy's being nice to him. What if he takes advantage later? I don't even know your name. It's Victor. Victor. Well, thanks, Victor. I made her today more toast. These are smoke bombs, and those two are full of nails. I'm gonna work this time. I know. Well, they. I know they will at some point, but will these ones? That was that was her toy, right? And she got it. That's what I was thinking. What? Uh, who was at the door? Was it Enforcers? Or was it Vander? Or Powder? Um, so here in this episode... So yeah, it started from the perspective of Jace. He is, the ones, he is the one who had those blue balls. And he was trying to scientifically come up with magic. Oxymoron, I think that is but he's trying to work on his magic but the people of piltover wanted him to be punished for the destruction this illegal activity of making magic how dare you make magic out here there's a 300 and something year old elf guy he's been around the block so i feel like maybe he knows a little bit he was kind of making it seem like jace wouldn't be able to make this whole magic thing work but i think that he just doesn't want magic maybe he's seen I mean, he's a freaking elf dude of course there's magic in what story okay do elves exist and magic doesn't exist hey tell me that none there are some, but I don't know of any. I don't know of any. If there's elves, there's magic. Every freaking time. Anyway, so he is now punished, but he's going to start working on magic again. He was actually going to freaking off himself, which kind of dark. But Victor stopped him. And he told him that he was intrigued by what he was talking about. So let's see if uh, Victor is going to help jace out with this whole magic situation maybe he's gonna use him and the enforcers they were looking for the kids they almost found them i don't know if there was a little bit of foreshadowing going on because they, they almost okay they almost grabbed powder twice i know they did but they they didn't like successfully take her they grabbed her like twice. And then when they were hiding in that one room and Powder was holding on on top, 
she almost slipped down. And there were a number of times where they were talking about, you know, being captured. Is somebody going to be captured eventually? I'm probably going to be watching another episode right now. So that's good. I'll find out who was at the door. Who could it be? Was it an enforcer? I think they want us to think that. It's probably something else. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the reaction. Please catch me in the next one. If you could. It would be so freaking awesome. <laughs> Maybe tone it down a little bit. Anyways, that's going to do it for the reaction. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.